Hello everyone. Today we are demonstrating a reduction of distal radius extra articular colis fracture under hematoma block. To give a hematoma block, locate the fracture site. You can quite easily locate it. And uh, after locating the fracture site, you can either from radial direction or from dorsal direction insert the needle into the fracture site. The blood will be there in the needle hub and after experience you will be able to differentiate between radial and arterial and uh, hematoma blood and after injecting it you have to apply the soft roll and from that you have to do a cogwheel motion to disimpact the fracture and then with the assistance uh, you have to pull it and keep it reduced with traction and counter traction as well as pressure from dorsal and alveolar direction uh, some, some radial uh, push is already in the fracture so ulnar deviation and volar tilt helps in maintaining the reduction uh, recently some articles have suggested not to give ulnar deviation it is a personal uh, preference uh, so after you can either give a slab or cast depending on the swelling uh, always leave the little finger free while giving the traction and uh, keep holding the fracture uh, volarly and dorsally so that it doesn't further displace uh, always explain the patient the precaution of plaster carefully so that they don't land up in complication i always advocate the use of plaster sprint for four to five weeks followed by brace uh, depend if you carefully select the fracture and use cast you will get good results and movement um, always have the cast in position till it dries so we will uh, show you the x-ray uh, if you can even aim for just neutral uh, in volar dorsal direction then also the results will be fine thank you